Do you say pop or soda? Oh, it depends on who I'm hanging out with. All right, that's that's even weirder. Yeah. Who are your pop friends? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I guess I say both. Well, I guess it's, it depends on how I say. Like, hey, do you want you want a soda? So you say soda. No, nah, but then someone's like, hey, let me get a pop. Damn, but, but that's hold some, on. But that's someone talking to you. Like, which one are you using? Hey, can I get a pop? Or hey, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Of, okay. Which one feels natural? All right, all right. We're at Subway, right? Yeah. Chips and drink? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get a chips and a drink. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. No. That's fucking crazy. Like, if you think about your brain, right? Uh-huh. Your brain just controls a whole bunch of shit that you don't even know it's working right now. Yeah. Like right now, you're fucking. I don't even know what it is. Your intestine. Like you're you're building up shit that you're gonna have to push out later literally yeah yeah Yeah, you're literally building up shit that's fucking crazy oh did you uh, that because you you brought up shit so this gross no uh there was some cat somewhere in in canada that was born without an (laughs) asshole what the fuck all right you ready damn yeah let's do it I think it's the quickest fucking start we've ever had. Nah, oh, shit. All right, well, let's fuck around for a little oh, bit. Oh, no, no, you good. Fucking, uh, did you see the, the thing I sent you on Instagram? Ow. No. <laughs> Why did she say ow? It's like someone punched her while she was recording <laughs> music. Like, say ow. the lines. No. No. Ow, bitch. No. Yeah, bitch, yeah. Wow. Uh, 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 Soldier Boy? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's another thing I'm going to talk about. Drake. Drake. Um, yeah, whenever you're ready. Oh, but did you see it? Oh, right now? <laughs> oh, you didn't see it yet? Oh no! What uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Oh man. Uh, it better be something cool. No. Ah, fuck. Now it's got pressure. Oh man. Okay, hear me out on this one. What? Someone's gonna. <laughs> That's something I would say. No. Bro. Guess what? Guess what? It's all natural. <laughs> this isn't a BBL. I get that question a lot. No, this is all mine. The way it jiggles and moves. Okay. <laughs> Be jealous. She's going to bruise her hand the way she's back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Flat girl summer. Bro, I'm telling you. Flat girl summer. Bro. Two by four summer. Damn. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Yeah. Two by four. Uh, that's a, That's a movement, right? That could be a movement. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, it's, you know. Yeah, you don't need no junk in the trunk. Exactly. It's easy. It's swift. You're it's easier to maneuver. <laughs> it's aerodynamic. Yeah. You're basically body shaving by saying that she's not attractive. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. So if you're, if you're making fun of it, then it's like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Yo, Trade Without a Radio. Renee from the other day. Why am I yelling? Nah. Uh, flat girl summer. Chunky boy summer. Oh, shit. I just realized we went polar opposites with both of those. Shout out to all the chunky boys that hit me up. One person. Hey. Hey, that's still pretty good, though. That's good. I had a chunky boy moment uh, in Vegas mm-hmm. this past weekend. I wanted to save it for the show. because. All right. All right. Man. Have you ever heard the term in Spanish? Uh, sudar la gota gorda? Yeah. Okay, well, 120 degrees. Oh, fuck. Bro, oh my God. Chunky Boy Summer, right? Mm -hmm. The literally epitome of Chunky Boy Summer is you could be chunky in the summer and not give a fuck. (laughs) You could be chunky in the summer. Nobody said you could be chunky in 120 degree weather, bro. It's a whole. Like you, you were talking about fucking Chunky Boy Summer in uh, fucking Antarctica or some shit. Yeah, like, you know, Chunky Boy Fleece, like Chunky Boy Hoodie season. <laughs> God damn, dude. Fucking 120 degrees is no joke, right? Yeah. Um, I'm in Vegas, and uh, my dumbass forgot to pack pants. Because I was like, okay, it's going to be hot. Let me just okay. hit, hit these cargo shorts up, yeah. you know? Um, we're having dinner, and then... Uh, <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, we're uh, going to the club tonight. We got the tickets already." Blah blah yeah. blah. And I was like, "Oh, what's the what's the what's the dress what's code? The dress code what's like?" The dress code? So everyone's like, "What do you mean? Like you didn't pack pants? Like what uh, are you how doing? Many, uh, how many pockets is the max? <laughs> what's the the length? Uh, the, the length the short? requirements? <laughs> At what point are they considered pants? Exactly, yeah. a fucking caprice, um, <laughs> bro. They're like, yo, 
uh, uh, pub crawl starts in an hour. You got fucking an hour to find pants in yeah. Vegas, right? Immediately, I was like, oh, there's a Marshalls next mm. to the MGM Grand that I've been to. Okay. The only problem is where you're staying in the middle of the strip. So that's like. A, that's a trip. That's a trip. Yeah. That's like. A twenty-five minute walk. Right. So that's basically your whole your whole prep hour right there. Twenty-five yeah. to get there. Twenty-five. And I was back. like, "Fuck, I'm I'm fucked." And it's Marshalls, so it's always a gamble when you go to Marshalls. You know, yeah. like you never know what you're gonna find. So I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna do it." I mean, I don't want to miss out on the club, you know. Mm-hmm. Which I was okay with, but the fact that like someone bought me my ticket, I was like, "Oh, I can't." Oh, you can't. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't. Um. <laughs> so there I go. Fucking. Uh, my coworker had a. Luckily, she had a, a pass for the for the monorail. Okay. I hopped on that train so fast, bro. Uh-huh. Started power walking to Marshalls, right? Immediately started sweating. Oh, yeah. I fucking... You e- said 120? Immediately, bro. And then in my head, I was like, yeah, fucking Chucky Boy Summer. This is what I gave for talking all that <laughs> shit last, last episode. So I'm walking, I'm walking. Yeah. And I uh, I turn the corner and I see this store, right? It's like fucking like God sent. Mm-hmm. And I walk in there and I didn't even know what store it was. I honestly thought it was... um. What's that store where they sell like a bunch of vinyls and like hipster shit? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Spencer's? No. Sure. The, <laughs> uh, fact check. Well, you guys could fact check it. Uh, I didn't really get a good description. <laughs> oh, that store. Um, anyway, that's not important. So I walk into yeah. the store, right? And immediately I was like, oh, do you guys have a guy section? They're like, oh, yeah, it's upstairs. So I go up there and uh, by the grace of God, it was a chunky guy up there. Yeah, uh, super cool guy, like super, uh, super hip, and he's like, "Oh man, what's up? Like, what can I help you find?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm looking for pants, like any, any, any pants." Yeah. He goes, "Oh yeah, I got you. Like, uh, what size are you?" And I was like, "Wait a minute." I started looking around, bro. I was in American Eagle, right? Oh, so you were like, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, because I was like, "What store? Did you walk into like a fucking fancy no. ass store?" Or yeah, something? Yeah, so I like I literally the first store I saw, I was like, "Oh, fucking Marshalls is out of the yeah, it's out of know? the equation." Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Yeah. And then the dude's like, oh, yeah, what size are you? And, I, and then I noticed that I was an American Eagle. Immediately, my chunky boy mind was yeah. like, I don't fit in American Eagle. Like, uh-huh. they got some skinny-ass jeans. Like, I'm not going to fit in these. So I was like, um, well, I give him my size. He's like, oh, yeah, for sure. I got you. I was like, well, do you have a dressing room? Because I definitely need to tr- yeah, try these on. I got to make sure. So I was like, well, do I go a size up? Do I go, like, true to size? Like, what do, what do I do? Right. And then I tried those freaking pants on bro and they fit perfect nice bro it was like okay so all the fat people watching this go to american eagle because they, bro, they're gonna what, fit. maybe that's the secret bro like, like they're people... like stretchy and shit like yeah. these jeans were like super awesome and we're not sponsored or anything but it was it was cool um <laughs> and i told the guy i was like oh man dude i i was uh i was i fucking ran over here because i was all sweaty you know yeah. he goes yeah i could tell man like did you, <laughs> did you lose your luggage at the airport <laughs> I was like, oh, no. So I gave him the whole rundown. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I got to get back. And then he goes, all right, cool, man. Yeah. You want some water? Like, you good? <laughs> you look you look a little rushed, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, he was really cool. Um, shout out to that guy, whoever the fuck he was. Uh, but yeah, I was telling him, I was like, oh, dude, like, I, I never knew that I fit into American Eagle pants. And yeah. yeah, they turned out to be like my favorite fucking pair of jeans now. But, nice. Um, yeah, dude, Chunky Boy Summer, man. That shit does not apply to 120 degree weather. Like, yeah. when it's- Especially with pants. When it's hot like that, like you're just fucked. Yeah, I, I remember when I when I worked in the city and I had you know I, I have to wear like a tie and like slacks every day. Oh yeah, I remember. <clears throat> and I I remember whenever it was hot, like it was game <laughs> over. Fuck. Like yeah. you get to the op- like I get to the office fucking sweated already. Oh, the worst is when you can feel it on your you back. Feel it, yeah, yeah, you feel it on your back, and then like. In the mornings, like, you get a little leeway because it's early. It's not that hot out, yeah. you know? Like, the, there's no sun. Right. But then on the fucking way back, Oh, that bro, shit sucks. Let me tell you. And then you just walk into that building and you feel the AC. Just yeah, you like, feel the AC hit and you're like, thank God. No. But then the fucking, on the way home, you're, like, waiting at the at the train station. Oh, yeah. For the fucking L, you're just sitting there fucking hot. Well, on the way home, it's cool because you don't have to be sweaty. Like, you know, you could just... Go home and change. Yeah, but then you're fucking sweaty the whole time you're in the fucking, uh, in the, on the train. That's true. So, like, yeah. You get home, there's a big ass fucking pool of sweat. Like, there's not even a shirt anymore. It's just water. It's just <laughs> disgusting. Like, it's just fucking soaked. Yeah, dude. And then, uh, I got, I got back to the hotel, fucking immediately just took a cold ass shower. Ooh. And yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm ready. I'm ready for this fucking pup crawl. Fucking ready for this jelly. Yeah. 
I don't think you're ready. No. <laughs> I don't think you were. No. Uh, so yeah, man, that was uh, that was my trip to Vegas. No. No, that sounds cool. Uh, honestly, that's why we missed the last week's episode because yeah, somebody, someone to forgot to, to pack pants. No. Wow, that's why we missed the episode. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I always pack pants. Fuck it. No yeah. matter where you go. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah. You, well, you messed up. No, when we went to Austin, I packed pants. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I think, I honestly had them laid out on my bed. I, I just think I forgot to fucking. You weren't ready for the jelly. I wasn't ready at all. But, uh, yeah, dude. Vegas was cool. Um, how was your weekend? No, uh, You know, I got rained on. No. Ooh, I heard about that. I was actually watching uh, Good Morning America, mm-hmm. and they were fucking talking about Naperville. Yeah, and how the fucking tornado hit. And oh yeah, died. yeah, well that too. Yeah. So like that happened, and then the fucking over the, the the past weekend, it just Saturday especially, it just rained like forever. Yeah. Um. Really, I didn't even notice like to the extent that it rained until like Sunday when mm-hmm. I was I was in uh, like in the downtown Naperville area, and the whole Riverwalk was technically closed because it was flooded. Oh shit! So like, I didn't realize that at first, but like, imagine like this is the light post. And the water was like to here, oh, <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, hey, wait a minute! There's a wa- there's a there's sidewalk, a sidewalk here. there, yeah. yeah." And it was just gone. It was just underwater. God damn! And I was like, "Damn, that's crazy!" And then it rained a fuck more today, so it's probably still the same. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was driving on uh, First Ave by yeah. Ogden. Fucking people just started turning around. Yeah, because so, a fucking probably a, a big ass pool of water. Yeah, and I didn't know that, so I was like, "What's going on? No. <laughs> Where's everyone?" I'm going? all trying to lower my window. No. Hey, hey, ma'am, no help. No <laughs> help. I'm stuck. Uh, but yeah, that was that was interesting. Uh, so since since the last episode, I've started redriving the places that I haven't driven to since before the pandemic. Oh shit! Which was interesting. So like, uh, if you remember over by, uh, over by O'Hare in Schiller Schiller Park, where we play where I play frisbee a lot. Yeah. And um, I drove there for the first time since fucking you know the fall of 2019. Right. And uh, drove there, played frisbee, and like without thinking, I just got back in the car after we were done and started driving. And then it hit me like a few minutes into the drive. I was like, I don't know how to get home. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Because I never, I never left from that park to yeah. drive here to Naperville. Oh, because you've always driven to your old house. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's never happened. Oh, that's and so weird. I like sat there at the fucking red light, like trying to Google how to get home. <laughs> I was like, oh, the fuck. How did it feel playing uh, sports again? Uh, that was weird. No. Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know what to describe it to. It was. I guess I'll just explain how I felt while I think of a good comparison. <laughs> I was high. I was sweaty. It was, it was, I was thirsty. It was yeah. fucking thirsty. Fucking some dude was <laughs> eating a jelly sandwich. No. He's like, you're not ready. <laughs> you're not ready for this. Wow. He's not fucking getting it everywhere. Right. I'm like, bro, I don't think you're ready. No. Uh, no, it was really, like, surprisingly nerve-wracking. Because, like, in my head, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, what if, what if I just suck? Or, like, oh, yeah. you know, what if... I guess it's like, imagine trying to ride a bike for the first time after, like, two years. It was like that. Like in your head, you're like, "Yeah, I know how to ride a bike," but like to actually doing but it. But to actually do it, you're like, "Oh fuck!" Like, what if, what if I don't know how to ride a? What if I'm that person? You know, because the saying is like, yeah. "Once you learn how to ride a bike, you don't forget." Yeah. What if you're the person who forgets? And like, then you're just gonna look dumb as fuck yeah, in front of everybody. You're the exception. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So that first catch, were you all nervous as shit? Yeah, and so it was. It was really nerve wracking. Yeah. Yeah. For that. For that same reason, I was like, "Fuck!" Like, what if? What am I over here, like, fucking passing out on the side of the woods, like, after the warm-up, you know? Hey, what, ha- what happened to Renee? <laughs> I'm like, ah, <laughs> you going to be like, like, Nate Robinson? <laughs> no. no. It's like, bro, they just left them there. Wow. No, they're just practicing around me. <laughs> <laughs> Frisbee hits you? <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. so that was, that was really nerve-wracking. But then now, uh, uh, being, like, three... I've gone out three times, right? Yeah. And so... Now I'm excited every time I go because the first time it wasn't like, you know, obviously it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be in my head. Yeah, of course. So now in my head, I'm like, all right, cool. So that's, you know, it can only go up from here. And so it's kind of like, it's like when you start watching a movie or a TV show that you haven't seen in a long time, you're like, you kind of remember what happens. Uh, Yeah. 
But then, like, as you watch it, you remember more and more stuff of the show. Like, oh, okay, this is how. This yeah, works. like, oh, yeah. and then this happens, and then this happens. So it, it kind of feels like that right now, where I'm like, I'm remembering, or I'm like, Damn. I'm re-watching a show that I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, because you, I mean, you've been playing for years, and then just to stop all of a sudden? Yeah, so it's it's kind of like that. That's crazy. Yeah, they uh, they announced that the, the, the volleyball league I'm in is starting up again, July 8th. There you go. So I'm Sign fucking up. nervous. Nah. Yeah, what yeah, if I and, suck? And, yeah, see, exactly. What that's... if I twist my ankle and die? <laughs> no. And that's kind of like the same thought process that, that I went through in my head. I was like, fuck, so what if I just suck? What if what if I, like, step on and, like, just fucking roll my ankle and die? <laughs> All right, this is the first... <laughs> the first... <laughs> First catch of the year. First catch of the year. <laughs> fucking dead. Yeah, just die. Yeah. Just cuts to like the fucking ambulance. <laughs> all quick as fuck. Like what happened? Uh, yeah, inside and slipped in an ice cube. <laughs> well, Shout out to all the SpongeBob people. Ah, I was about to say that. <laughs> fucking SpongeBob. The uh, Winnie Hut Junior. Yeah. yeah, super Winnie Hut Junior. Yeah. No. Um, which by the way, my fucking my nephew bought some SpongeBob bands. Uh huh. They look fire. I mean, for like kids, you know. Yeah. But the fact that he's into SpongeBob and like SpongeBob's so old, yeah, it's so it's like fucking mind going. trippy. Yeah, it's fucking SpongeBob and The Simpsons, man. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy, man. All right, well, fuck it. Let's go play uh, frisbee. No, I, I, no, I suck at frisbee. Wow, how quick? How uh, quick yeah. did you turn around? I remembered, yeah, because we were tossing the other day. Yeah, 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 and that's the part that made me nervous too. I was like, I've only like the that day that we threw, and like one other day that I that I met up with Abel to throw was yeah. like the only two times that I had touched a frisbee. Since 2019, since fall of 2019. Goddamn. So I was like, man, these people are probably out here fucking practicing every day and shit. Yeah. And like, it, it was one of those things where at the moment you're like, fuck, why didn't I do this? Like, why didn't I do this in the past? Because <laughs> yeah. I had other opportunities leading up to that, to other chances to play. And I was like, ah, I don't fucking feel like it. Or like, ah, I don't want to eh, do nah, it. I'm not going to go work out. Though. Yeah. You know, like that kind yeah. of mentality. And then like come that day. Where it was like the first day of a fucking tryout process. I was like, fuck. Like, <laughs> like shit. No. I was just looking around. I was like, damn, these guys look like they've been playing. <laughs> these guys really fucking played all year, huh? No. <laughs> so oh, I, set, wow. I set the bar low, though. It was good. It was oh, good. Wow. Every time someone asks me, he's like, oh, hey, Renee, how have you been? Have you, uh, have you been uh, <laughs> doing anything, playing? And I was like, no, I haven't. This is literally the first time I. Yeah, what is Frisbee? Though? Yeah. And like, oh, wow. it's not like I was lying too, because I was like, oh, you know, like I had to fucking find all my shit. Like I didn't know where my cleats were. I didn't know where like Damn, my yeah. like where my jerseys were. Like all of that shit. And I wasn't lying. Yeah. That way, yeah, you have a lower expectation. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Oh, they're like, oh fuck, this guy's gonna suck. This guy has so played for shit. Yeah. yeah. So then when I when I do slightly okay, they're like, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. That, see, that was my mentality when we went bowling that one time, and mm-hmm. they're like, oh, Trader, you bowl, and I was like, ah. Oh, not really. I, I dabble. I dabble. Yeah. I mean, I've never bowled really, but yeah, I'll play. Yeah. And then I was like, I think yeah, I was just like fucking killing it. Second, yeah, 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 next to you. Um, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm excited to play volleyball. Um, but I was thinking we had an episode early on last year. We were like, oh, these are all the things you could do during quarantine. Like you could yeah. read books. You could fucking. We should go back out. to that list and <laughs> see what we've done. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah. Like, how many people have, like, regretted the last fucking year of not doing anything? True. Um, you know? But I, then how many people have actually fucking, fucking done a bunch done of it? shit? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I am coming up on it. Um, I'm on day either 97 or 98 of Duolingo. Oh, shit. Damn, so, it's been that long? Yeah. I fucking, God damn. I, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, like, it, it came up, and I was like, damn, I'm getting close. Because yeah. I, cause I, remember, I remember talking to you about it. I was like, oh, yeah, apparently uh, uh, this person I know is doing it, and she just hit day 100. I was like, damn, I'm not even close to that. So now she's probably like close to day 200, but, you know. Now she's ordering shit in fucking Italian? Yeah, or, whatever the fuck she was studying. What language are you doing again? French, French. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so how's it going? Have you learned a bunch of shit? What's up? I, just, you got a platform right here. You shit. Can, go ahead. Everybody, we're going to put on the subtitles on YouTube. Hello. No. Oh. No. Uh, so, hello, di bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. I'm so sorry. You say that again? Bonjour. Oh. Shit. Nah. nah. So, <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think. Yeah, I didn't even download the app. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> what <laughs> were the kids saying? No cap? No, no. cap. Yeah, respectfully. Uh, no. Respectfully, sir, no cap. No. <laughs> Just takes off his hat. Well, yeah. um, the national anthem is playing, so it's like, sir, respectfully, <laughs> there's no caps on. But it's the Canadian uh, <laughs> national anthem? No, anthem? Anthem. No. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think it's... Where is that from? Da-dum-dum. 
How do I know that? Parumpum. Parumpum? Parumpum, no? Is it parumpum? Shit, I don't, I don't know. That's that, sounds, that sounds holy sounds familiar. shit. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's going well. I um, this was a, a a while back now, but a while back now, but I think it was like around like day forty or something. I was like, let me just put this show in French and see what happens. Oh yeah, Netflix. I understood like one out of every like seven words, which I thought was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that I mean that's progress for sure. Yeah, because like forty days before that, I wouldn't have understood zero. <laughs> I would have gotten zero words. Wow. So, uh, do you, how comfortable are you speaking with a French uh, person right now? I mean, probably not very. I have someone I, on the, on the oh, line fuck. waiting for no. you. <laughs> probably, I feel like conversationally that would probably kind of suck. But I think I could like do, uh, like basic interactions, like at a restaurant or like asking for something. Yeah, but that's that's tu- that's touristy interactions. Let's, yeah. let's drop you down in the hood. Like, oh, shit. Okay, so, what okay. The fuck, okay, first of all, plane, what's the hood? Plane, and, cr- your yeah. plane crash is in the hood of, of France, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just think of any fucking slum, right? All right. Oh, well, first of all, you got to survive the plane crash. But, okay, right, so, so you're, survived. You're, you're, you're survived. Uh, you're, it's 2 in the morning, so you got to knock on someone's door, right? Oh, fuck. So you go up to these apartments. What are you? For, what's the first thing you're saying? You're already putting me in a situation. <laughs> I was like, as you were describing, I was like, what words would I use? Yeah, yeah. Like, what would you? Okay, uh, obviously you're gonna right. want to use a phone, right? Yeah. Uh, How the fuck do you say phone? Oh, uh, I don't know what phone is, but cell phone apparently is portable. Oh. Yeah. Portable. Yeah, it's just portable. Oh, that's easy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no. Portable. Portable. No. Just hand you an iPad. No. Wow. Ah, okay. uh, fuck it. No. Cosa? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, it means cell phone. Every every context that I've seen it in, it's for cell phone. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess you would introduce your, yourself, Jesui Rene. Uh, je vous... Jesui, I'm fucked. Yeah, uh, Jesu fucked. No. Right. Uh, je vous ou... no. Tu tu pon un portable. Uh, uh. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone? Who's uh, asking? No, but well, in French. I, jo- I already no. su- I already introduced myself. <laughs> Yeah, but it's two in the morning. You just woke me up from my slumber. <laughs> not gonna give me my cell phone. What the fuck? You gotta be nicer than that. Um, you can't be demanding shit. You gotta. Will you pay the bill? The, I don't know the word for crash, but like plane is at. Uh, Argato. Argato. What the fuck? No, I don't know. I'm uh, just making shit up. It's, no. it's close to that. I, I don't. I think it's just like aeroplane in Spanish. Aeroplan. Aero, uh, aeroplan. Aero, no. Mazepan. Aeroport is airport. Airplane. Oh. Aero. I think it's just Aero actually. Like Aeropostale? Yeah. Yeah, like I, yeah, it's yeah. spelled the same way. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what the word for crash is or anything similar. Uh, gato is cake. No, <laughs> that was cat. No, no. Uh, that's shit. Uh, shat. Shat. Oh yeah, like shat. Yeah. Like I gotta take a shat. I gotta take a shat. Yeah. No. But it's a cat. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't know what crash is. So I, I would struggle there if I was like, yeah. I pl- plane fucking crashed. All right, let's flip it. So you're sleeping in your room. Okay. A uh, nice French woman <laughs> knocking okay. at the back of your, you know, okay. patio door. Why? No. Because well, her plane crashed. Oh, shit. Her <laughs> plane crashed. Her plane crashed. Uh-huh. She doesn't know English. Okay. How are you able to communicate with her? Would you be like, well, I guess it's the same conversation. Yeah, same conversation, yeah. All right, fuck it. At least now I, I don't she's need to Japanese. know the word crash. No. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, is that not, Jap- not even a language I'm learning? <laughs> So you got to restart the app. No. <laughs> you got to restart the app. All right. Sorry, ma'am. You're going to have to wait a couple hundred days. Come back <laughs> Come back in 94 days. Yeah. Come back in 94 days and maybe we'll talk. Bring snacks. Yeah. Jungle Boy Summer. Jungle yeah. Boy Summer. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I could order I could order uh, pizza because oh, it's nice. just pizza. <laughs> the word for pizza in French is pizza. Oh, well, that's stupid. But yeah. Je well, je yeah, would, I guess what else would it be? Je voudrais une pizza. Is pizza pizza in every language? I think it might be. Yeah, right. Because pizza's pizza in Spanish too, I think. Pizza. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, pizza. Well, you gotta, you know, you say pizza, pizza, pizza. Are you sure? See, that that's the that's the bullshit with Spanish. <laughs> um, you can make up your own fucking. Yeah, because like sometimes I don't know, like, what if pizza isn't really a like? What if there's an actual word for it in Spanish, like uh, um, parqueadero? Oh, uh, it's esta- actually esta- estacionamiento. But oh, people okay. say parqueadero. Like, tienes que pagar tu morgan. Tu mor- it's really <laughs> mortgage. Morgan, and gotta, why am I gotta, paying her? <laughs> you gotta pay your mortgage. The... You gotta pay your morgan. She just uh, like... Yeah, like parqueadero yeah. or. Uh, so I don't know if pizza is. Just... Reversa? No. Reversa? I think that one's legit. Oh, okay. I think. 
Uh, or like how people fucking uh, Walmart. Vamos a la Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Walmart. Denny's. Yeah. Oh. Wait, you did know? you say Denny's or Denny's? Because I'm a little Denny's. hungry. Yeah. No. Shoes. Oh, okay. Denny's. Uh, ponte tus. Reeboks or Nikes? No. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I don't care which ones you put on. Just put something on. Yeah, but see, because so my nephew's learning like proper Spanish because he's getting ready to go to high school, and it's yeah. fucking difficult, dude. Like the other day, we were doing worksheets. Oh yeah, and, proper, proper. Oh my it's god, dumb. I felt dumb. Yeah. Like yeah, like they were quizzing him, but I just chiming in. Yeah, and I didn't know like half of the fucking words. Yeah, it's really difficult. But I think you're right. Like even in French, I'm sure there's a lot of slang that yeah, you can pick that's up. the part that sucks. Like there's probably a better word. Like the moment that a uh, cell phone, for example, came up as portable. I was like, there's probably some other word that they fucking say. Selly? Like, yeah. Selly. No. That would be. Maybe. I don't, yeah. I don't know what it would be. But, like, you know, like, there has to be something that they actually use. Yeah. Like, a car. Like, there's no fucking way they call all cars Vortus. Uh, no, I fucked the pronunciation up. Vor vortus? Vertu, I think it is. Virtual? No. No, V V O U I T E. Vorti? Vorte? Vorte? Yeah. Vorte. I think it was that last one. Vorte. Yeah. Maybe. Vorte. It's been Somewhere. a while since I lived in France. Mm. This man just fucking silently flexing. No. Oh, well, you know. No. Nah. Um, so I had a podcast in in, uh, in Paris uh -huh. for about three years. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. What? Nah. Keep going. I, uh, it was called uh, Trados in Paris. No. Nah. Trados in Paris? We're going gorilla. No. Nah. <laughs> they were everywhere. <laughs> One song only. Yeah, fucking man. Mary Kate and Ashley. No. Uh, ooh. No. Um, you were just straight up Gucci? No. Uh, anyways. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like there's like there's a lot of gaps, obviously, learning from a from an app. Or, like, oh, yeah, learning course. when you're not using it in day-to-day, -day, I feel, is a really big uh, detriment to trying to learn any language. So you think it's beneficial if you learn the slang as well? I think so, yeah. Yeah, right? To some degree. Yeah, because even, like, for someone who, like, formally learns English, mm -hmm. all the slang that people use or, like, shorthand that people say is completely lost on them because it just grammatically doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's still mind-boggling. The other day when we were talking about just different languages, it's just different noises. Yeah. Bro, that shit is so crazy. Like... It's just different you're noises. just you're, you spend 94 days just learning different noises yeah, just learning noises holy shit and i feel like that that actually helps when i'm like looking at it i'm like trying to learn a word yeah i'm just like it's just a noise like i it, just have to yeah. make the same noise they're making you're just and that means something duplicating the noise but then they'll do stupid shit like uh the both your word that i can't really like i have to think about it when i pronounce it because i don't make that sound with any other words what your you know what's crazy? Okay, not to get weird, but like, it's crazy that your mind knows when to move your tongue in order to make different sounds. Yeah. So I get you're you. moving your tongue without moving your tongue, without thinking about moving your tongue. Right. Like, you think about the word that you're gonna say, yeah. and your your mouth says the word, but you're not like, all right, tongue, you're gonna go this way, and then you're right. gonna do that. You're gonna clap against your teeth yeah. or whatever. I was thinking about that uh, the other day when I was at the dentist. The fucking lady was going ham. Oh, and and they're then, fucking asking you shit? Yeah, like, and I'm all trying to talk, but I was like, oh, you know, yeah. I'm fucking gagging on the shit. And then, uh, <laughs> pause. <laughs> and Hard then, pause. Uh, <laughs> fucking slam on your brakes. Um, <laughs> no, but then uh, she was in there, and uh -huh. then subconsciously, I was trying to keep my tongue on this side. Uh -huh. But then I was realizing that I just, my tongue just moves. I, you can't keep your tongue still. Like, mm -hmm. think of how much effort it takes just to keep your tongue still mm -hmm. right because you try to i'm like, not trying it right now yeah that's hard it's yeah. like one of those things where someone points out that you have to your body automatically breathes otherwise you die yeah like, and then you like, start thinking about your breathing fuck See, yeah no nah. <laughs> uh those memes like when you start thinking about your breathing and you unlock manual breathing bro i didn't even think about it like that yeah. you're right yeah it's always an or automatic. blinking yeah Think about how many times you've blinked in your whole life. A lot. Like, it has to be millions and millions. Yeah, actually, what do you think happens more? Do you think you blink more in your life or your heart beats more in your life? Ooh. Actually, you know what? I think I know the answer now. Uh, I think it'll be your heart, no? Yeah, because it never yeah, stops. Yeah, yeah, especially when you're sleeping. 
Yep. Never mind. All right. I take <laughs> it back. Sorry, everybody. All Come right, back, back next back, week. Back. No. Uh, yeah. No. But just the idea of like breathing, right? Yeah. You think there's a disease or some type of like um, mental thing where like you just need to manually breathe? Like you have to like be in control. Yeah. You know. It. Like you. You think you could ever just lose that ability to just automatically breathe? I'm pretty sure that if now if, I'm all getting light, <laughs> like fucking. If woo, it's no. if it's ever happened. I'm pretty sure that person probably died like within the hour. Oh yeah, for sure. Nah, because oh, yeah. when you're sleeping, you can put on a fucking breathing device. Oh, okay. In my mind, I was like, imagine right now, all of a sudden, you just lose the ability to automatically breathe. I'll freak out. No, <laughs> good luck. You yeah. can't. You can't even freak out if you're not breathing. Hey man, is this room getting fucking warmer? <laughs> no. Yeah, like. That'd be weird. Like, uh, like imagine having to tell your blood to pump. You know? Yeah. Like, you're gonna forget. You're yeah. All, you're all and fucking that's how dying. Crazy. You're just like, <laughs> what? No. no, you're you're all turning purple. Like you forgot to pump. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> so, bro, what the fuck? Your fucking arms all tingly. Um, yeah, no, that's fucking crazy. Like, if you think about your brain, right? Uh-huh. Your brain just controls a whole bunch of shit that you don't even know it's working right now. Yeah. Like right now, you're fucking, I don't even know what it is, your intestine? Like you're you're building up shit that you're going to have to push out later. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're literally building up shit. That's fucking crazy. Oh, did you, uh, that, because you, you brought up shit, so this. Gross. No. Uh, there was some cat somewhere in, in Canada that was born <laughs> without an asshole. What the fuck? Yeah. No. So there was like this. You know, cat who had a bunch of kittens, and then one of the kittens just didn't have an oh. asshole. They were born with it, which is apparently is a thing that happens. How much bad luck do you have that God was like, you know, fuck, fuck, yeah, you. fuck you, fuck you, don't, you don't get, you an, don't asshole get an asshole for being an asshole. And you know? so the cat didn't have a, or the kitten didn't have an asshole, and the the country or the city or some some big group of people they all rallied together and they like started a fund so that the cat could get surgery to surgically have an asshole added. Hold up. So you're telling me people are paying money to help this little cat out. Yeah. This, I mean, it was a, uh, at the time, the how cat, do you even drill an asshole into a cat? Expensively, I guess. But apparently there's a way, like, like I said, like this happens, like it's common enough that there's a standard procedure to yeah. add an asshole to a cat. Yo, how much pain did that cat? Yeah, well, so the the cat at the time of the procedure was eight months, eight eight weeks old. Uh huh. And so, can you imagine not shitting for, for eight, eight weeks? weeks? Oh my god, bro! I, I, <laughs> what? No. And so, like the the people reporting about it is like, can you just imagine? Like you like touch the cat and you just feel like eight weeks for, worth of shit in that cat. It's all squishy. Yeah, like yeah. the cat's just progressively getting heavier and heavier because there's all this shit that can't come out. That's a chunky ass cat. No. And so. The they went through the cat got the surgery and then the cat didn't shit for another week so everyone's like fuck all this money and like it didn't even work like this no. cat's just gonna fucking die it's all bougie I'll shit when I want no. yeah but eventually the cat shit and oh. now it's it's probably gonna live the rest of its life so as a who's this cat. owner that was like guys I need help because my cat can't I, shit I don't know also this cat better live till he's like forty eight like <laughs> fucking cat got eaten by a dog or something what do you get yeah they just finish the surgery the fucking cat gets hit by a car like what do you <laughs> All that money for nothing. Uh, imagine, imagine hitting that cat with your car and like the eight weeks worth of shit just splatter oh, everywhere, bro. And it gets in your fucking grill uh, and in your fucking bumper. Good luck. And you can't really clean it out, so you gotta fucking just just fucking throw away the car. No. Oh my god. Did I tell you what happened with my car? No. So <laughs> all concerned? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. Did you I didn't kill a cat. No. Kill I didn't. a cat? No. No. Um. So, you know, I got the new car, right? Right. Uh, which has been sitting in my garage for fucking three years. Uh huh. Man, there was something living in that fucking engine. Oh, I'll fuck. tell you that. Was there like a fucking possum in there? It, shit? It, maybe. So I take it to get the fucking uh, you know tune up or tune whatever. up or whatever. Um, the dude's like, "Oh, you want me to check the filter?" I was like, "Well, yeah, you know, of course." Yeah. He goes, "All right, cool." Uh, so with the Mazda, you check the filter through the glove compartment. Okay. Oh, so yeah. So weird. yeah, it was weird. And I was like, okay, cool, sure. Uh, t- took out the fucking glove compartment immediately. He's like, yeah, bro, this filter hasn't been changed since like right. the car was fucking 
2011. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, shit. Okay. And he goes, wait a minute. And then, dude, he pulled a leaf and like just a shitload of leaves just started falling on the ground. Yeah. So it was like a bird nest or something? So then he goes, hey, man, uh, something was living in your car because there that's a nest. Yeah. Like He's like, look at that. And I was like, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> he goes, oh, just put your hand here. I was like, no, nah, I'm paying nah, you. I'm the fuck. <laughs> You're fucking doing a service, sir. Bro, he's like, man, he's like, dude, whoever owned this car before never cleaned out the filter. But since you had it stored away, yeah. something was living in there. Right. Um. So he just... Grabbed the bag and just started fucking loading shit in there. It so was, was like there... leaves, twigs, uh, a, a fur ball. Like yeah. it was disgusting. He goes, "You didn't smell it?" I was like, "Bro, this is the first time I drive it." <laughs> and I, I, when I got there, I told him straight up. I was like, "Hey, man, like I, this car's been sitting for like three years, yeah. so you know, if, just take a look at it, make sure you make sure you it's know. good." Um, he's like, "Yeah, you don't you don't get that smell," and I was like, "Dude, I haven't even turned on the AC." Like, yeah, yeah. And uh, he goes, "Yeah, man." Uh, in, in all my years, I've never seen this shit. And I was like, oh, okay, Dang. cool. Well, well, shit, thanks. Shit, now he's got a story that he's going to yeah, tell his boys. Yeah, and then he was like, he was Puerto Rican, so he goes, en tanto año, nunca he visto tanta mierda en un carro. I was like, bro, okay, I get it. Like, relax. I get it. And then I was like, oh, man. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to. Uh, he was cool. He was like a young yeah. guy. He's like, man, I'm not talking shit because obviously you just got the car, yeah. so it's not your fault. But I was like, oh, yeah, like it was <laughs> disgusting but the second you left hey, everybody look at this man, fucking, look at, hey yeah. you see that car driving off the fucking bum no <laughs> <laughs> so like bro i can still i was the red light i can hear you no. oh bro i don't know why but sometimes i feel like I, like insulting someone with like such a simple word sometimes <laughs> it's so much funnier than like i you know <laughs> bro like yeah like that shit hurt. So. Yeah, like calling someone a bum. <laughs> Look at this fucking bum. Nah. It's the way you say it, too. Yeah. You gotta build, like, fucking bum. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. So the animal wasn't in there anymore, though. No, 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 no. It must have fucking flown, like, flown off. I don't know. No. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder how it was. It was like... disgusting. Oh, well, I guess maybe from the... from the I don't Also, know. it gets worse. Oh, so, oh yeah. fuck. So, um, obviously, like, if an animal's living in there, it's gonna shit. Right. So he's like, yeah, you smell that. And I was like, uh, now I smell it because yeah. I'm fucking, we're talking about it. But he opened the, the hood and there was a shit of like droppings. Yeah. But on the on the engine that turned, like it got hot. Oh, so so it like just started melted? melting on that shit. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, man, like, yeah, you're going to have to clean this out. I was like, yeah, right, you got to yeah. like power wash your yeah, fucking yeah. engine. So, yeah. So pretty much, yeah, apparently that's a thing. Like, people, oh, yeah. 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 People do that. Yeah. yeah. Like they cover up the fucking spark plugs and, mm-hmm. um, yeah, batteries and shit, but yeah, man, it was, yeah, it was so a it's mission. possible. So you can you can get the shit off of your engine. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Well, yeah, now it's like gone, but disgusting. Yeah, that's weird. It yeah. Just... So what, what if cool. that animal tries to come back? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> bro! The other day I was uh driving home uh from uh from here. Yeah. Uh, I was on seventy five, and then fucking a big ass spider, bro! Like like oh, it's just like went across, across the the, the yeah. uh, windshield, you know. And I was on the phone, so I'm trying to kill it, but I'm on, on the phone, I'm yelling, yeah. and then it's dark, so it's I couldn't see it, and then I hit it, but then it crawled, and then it fell on my lap. Oh. Bro, luckily there was no cars next to me, because I swerved the fuck <laughs> out of it. Dude, I was like, you know? Yeah. And then, um, I was like, let me call you back, let me call The fucking spider just landed on my lap. Yeah. Dude, and I was like, fuck, if it crawls in my pants, I'm fucked. It's over. Um, yeah. Nah. So I almost died, but... Damn, it's been sucks. a journey, yeah. It's been a yeah. You gotta like fucking <laughs> fumigate the car. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind of gross. I fucking clean the fuck out of it, but you know it needs like a professional cleaning. Yeah. Um. So what's up, guys? You guys need a ride? No. <laughs> you guys need a ride? You it's might like have a, some uh, animals nearby. It's like a haunted house, but you know, you never you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a Kinder uh, Kinder egg. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, is that the little egg with the chocolate and like mm-hmm. a random shit? It's got the little toy in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, dude, so it's been a trip, man. Um, also, uh, fucking, um, you know the key fob? Yeah. Yeah, so the one I have is kind of broken, right? Mm-hmm. So I called a bunch of places, and I called I called Mazda, and I was like, oh, yeah, how much for a new key? And they're like, okay, cool, uh, what year is it, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, so you're looking at um, to start off 400, and then after they program it, it'll be like 475 to 500. So four hundred just for the actual for the physical yeah, fob for the actual yeah. key fob with the buttons. 
Yeah. But then to program me, it's like an extra 120. I was like, well, that's stupid. Uh, yeah. I was like, well, how much is it for like a regular key? Yeah. He goes, oh, well, just a station, like a regular, uh, yeah, regular key uh, starts off at 150. That's still not even that yeah, cheap. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay, well, that's stupid as fuck. I'm just going to go to a flea market and hope for the best. Like, yeah, you should have asked him, like, what if I just bring my own fob? Because yeah. you, you can buy the fobs online yeah, for like 12 bucks. Or I saw them on Amazon, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't ask him, but yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe um, do that. Because. Yeah, that I mean that still seems like a bit of a ripoff. I I'm sure you could probably yeah, find some other that year they have the fob that they have the key that flips, so it's like a little switch. Oh yeah, like a switch blade. Yeah, which is kinda cool. That's why I want it really. Hey, hey, don't try it. Hey. No. Also it sucks just putting your key in all the time. <laughs> Bro, like I miss having buttons. No. It sucks. No. You know what that Hmm. When's the last time you used your key? Um, that's what I was trying to think. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure when the last time that I physically had to put a key into an ignition to turn a car on. This um, guy over here. No. Damn, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. Bro, I, all I want. I used to love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, it's know, it was, horrible. It was kind of cool. You put it in and you fucking like, you like push it in and turn yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you 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 test drive it. No, I don't know. I thought that was cool. The the two two things on in cars that I weirdly liked. Uh-huh. Uh huh. One putting in the key and and turning it. I don't know. It, just, it, it hits different. It hits different than yeah. fucking hitting a button. Yeah. Uh, plus, you don't have to hold the fucking brake button or the brake no. pad. Yeah, you don't. The brake pedal. That's pedal. the word I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right next to the gas. I'm all pedal. agreeing with you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. pedestrian. Yeah, the brake pedestrian. No. <laughs> the brake brake pedestrian. <laughs> what? Right. That was close. The... And then the other thing that I really liked about cars, uh, especially on trucks, on the Tahoes, the the gear shift change. Oh yeah, I forgot about like, that. You had to like push it in and then like go like you're you know, right. Do like a whole fucking thing just to get into drive. Just to get into, and then you feel it like do 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 do. Yeah, you feel yeah. it like popping around. Yeah, I love that shit. They should they should bring that back. Just I mean, you can still be like an electric car or whatever, but like speed, like yeah. cool. But like, yeah, the idea of just bringing it in. You're right, because yeah, the Tahoe you had and the Suburban that my dad had were pretty much the same. Yeah, and same so they had the thing up here on the on the wheel, and you like. When's the last time you cranked the window down? Oof! I did a lot of window cranking with my first car. No, but yeah, those are my two. I'll see if I can think of another one, but those are like my two like odd things that I like about that I like about older cars, and uh, that'll be cool to like eventually buy an old car and just yeah. like fix it up. Just think about it; you could buy like a Tahoe with like a hundred miles, a hundred miles, no. damn, hundred miles, a no. hundred thousand. Fuck on this thing, <laughs> you know, and then just yeah. keep it for like nostalgic purposes. Yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Oh, I don't know about that. It's fucking gas. Does your dad still have the Tahoe? No, we we haven't had that in like ten years. Yeah, same. Uh, see, no. Yeah, yo, but did he have it like all souped up with like speakers and shit? Yeah, that the fucking battery would die every winter. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that shit <laughs> drains you, the fuck out of the battery. That's when you know right? you had too much fucking uh, too much of a sound <laughs> system on your vehicle when the battery would die because you're fucking powering the speakers. Bro, that's right. With the fucking yeah. And then the amp and the yeah the fucking subwoofers. all that shit. Damn uh, you're right. Yeah, that was that was pretty funny. But yeah, I miss that about vehicles. I don't miss the the manual windows that I kind of miss that. It, it kind of makes you like uh, builds you character. character. Oh yeah, Damn, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick before we go, speaking yeah. of character, um, the spatial audio. I know I talked about it already. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been making me not making me but i've been broadening my fucking music selection yeah so hip-hop is hip-hop right right everyone loves hip-hop pop is pop like everyone loves pop uh-huh. country goddamn it's like oh, a whole different monster uh, do you say pop or soda oh it depends on who i'm hanging out with all right that's that's even weirder yeah who are your pop friends <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I guess I say both. Well, I guess it's, it depends on how I say. Like, hey, do you want you want a soda? So you say soda. No, nah, but then someone's like, hey, let me get a pop. Damn, but, but that's hold some, on. But that's someone talking to you. Like, which one are you using? Hey, can I get a pop? 
or Hake. I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Of, okay. Which one feels natural? All right, all right. We're at Subway, right? Yeah. Chips and drink? No. Subway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. we get chips and a drink. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. <laughs> I think I say both. Pop, soda. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, what do you say? Um, I say soda mostly. I'm pretty confident I exclusively say soda. But apparently the common thing is for people to say pop, at least in this area. Hey, let me get a pop. I think if I'm requesting a soda, I'll say, let me get a pop. Mm. But if I'm asking what kind of soda you want, I'll say soda. Cause like, hey, what kind of pop do you drink? Mm-hmm. But see now, I think I'm so, saying it too many so times. So what if? Okay, so, well, I, actually, you go go ahead and finish your 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 spatial audio thing first, and then oh, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. wrap back around. So you were saying, all you right. Know, so I'm listening to pop, right? And I'm listening to a bunch of genres. Yeah, bro, I came across. Uh, well, I I just recently saw her on Hot Ones, but I listened to her album before she was on Hot Ones. Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, I saw her video. That's what I thought you were talking about because I saw that video pop up on my recommended today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bro, have you listened to her album? No. Oh, my God. Free promo right now, but her album, Sour, uh-huh. I, I just had to pull it up for the name. It's so weird, but it's so, like, I've never listened. Okay, so, like, you know how you listen to, like, fucking uh, Katy Perry and, like... I've heard of her. Tw- <laughs> no. I was going to say Twista? No. <laughs> oh, I've fucking heard of her. Taylor Swift? No. I've never really sat on an artist that I liked, and then I, her one of her songs came on, and I was like, oh shit, because it was on spatial audio. Yeah. So I could hear every little fucking chord and every little like uh, voice progression and shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, damn, this sounds really cool. And then I just clicked on her name, and then I saw that her new album was out. So I was like, oh shit, let me just start it from the beginning. Yeah. Bro, it was like weird. Like it was it was cool, but it was very like. Makes you feel like a like a teenage fucking girl writing in your <laughs> diary. Like, uh-huh. it was weird. Like, I, yeah. So then I was like, oh shit, I wonder if Renee's heard this because it's good music. Like yeah. lyrically, like the storylines are good, and like the heartbreaks and shit is good. But then like, <laughs> but then just like the production on it is, I don't know. Maybe I'm becoming like a production snob because yeah. I like to hear all the little shits. Um, just overall good ass music. So. No, I've. I've only, Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, I've heard of her. I've heard her one that one song that she has on the radio, but that's about it. Okay. Yeah, check her out. She's cool as fuck. Um, Maybe I'll, I'll watch the Hot Ones episode a, and then I'll see. I'll oh go yeah. From there. Yeah, that's that's a good way to start. But if you ever have a heartbreak and you fucking get Carly Rae Jepsen all the way. No. <laughs> see, and that's what it, I was like, man. I wonder if this is what like Renee it, was talking about. Yeah, from your description, it sounds yeah. like the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I've never found that one artist. You've never found the artist that yeah that does it for you until now. There yeah. you go. That's weird. It's like <laughs> the first time I listened to Tupac. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a leak company. So, you got Tupac and this fucking Olivia uh, Rodrigo. Yeah, Olivia Rodriguez. Yeah. What the Rod- Rodrigo? Rodrigo or Rodriguez? Wait, hold on. Let's pull it up. Ah, uh, it's Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bro, I was, oh, man, I felt so bad. I uh, I was talking to somebody, and I was I was talking about how I had taken Spanish uh, in high school for a, for a year or a semester, whatever it was, and how, like, I, I, you know, I had a hard time in the class. I barely passed it. Uh-huh. And I was complaining about how, you know, for Morton, they basically did, they had, like, two versions of Spanish. They had Spanish for people that spoke Spanish and Spanish for people that didn't know Spanish. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. And, oh, well, they did. Um, <laughs> so, you know, so like... So, you took the one, obviously... For people one. that knew Spanish. Yeah. But, like, the test to decide which one you should go in was really dumb. It was, like, a, uh, they sat you down and you had, like, a five-minute conversation with someone in Spanish. Oh, it was, like, verbal? Yeah. And that was the whole thing. So they only tested if you could speak and understand. They never you tested read your and reading and writing. Yeah. And then when you get to the class, they just assume you know how to read and write. That's stupid. And so like even, you know, everything everything that you would turn in for that class was supposed to be written in Spanish. Every like the textbook was in Spanish and like all that shit. But when I was explaining this, for some reason I couldn't think of the word. 
Spanish in my head. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you know, you, the fucking, the book was in, um, and I, I didn't even stop. I'm stopping now because <laughs> I'm embarrassed. But I was like, yeah, the, the, so, you know, the whole class was spoken in Spanish. The, everything was written in Spanish. And see, there I go again. I'm saying Spanish. Yeah. But I was like, uh, yeah, but then they give you the book on the first day and the whole book is in Mexican. Wow. <laughs> and wow. Like, <laughs> and bro. That's how I said it. And yeah, during, this book is in Mexican. <laughs> during uh, that conversation. I need, I need the book to be in American. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I felt so bad. The what did the teacher say? Oh, well, no, this is what I said to the person I was explaining it to. Oh, okay. And so I felt so bad. Like the oh, moment. Oh, like recently. Recently. Oh, this that's even like, worse. This is like four days ago. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, the book was in Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> just, the moment that left my mouth, I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> like, I just pictured like this paisa named Chewy on the cover <laughs> with, with a sombrero. Like, oh bro, I felt so bad. That's uh, funny. Damn. I just I couldn't think of the word Spanish for some reason. <laughs> Mexican. How do you say soda in Spanish? Um refresco. Oh, I was thinking soda, but it's like, it's one of those words. Yeah, like yeah, soda, yeah. soda. That's why I had to stop because I was going to say soda. Yeah. But I think the proper word is re- refresco. Refresco. Refreshing. Yeah. Let me get a refreshment. Oh, oh there you go. That's probably, yeah. that's probably what it, what it comes from. Damn. Damn. Uh, but yeah, so soda or pop. <laughs> if you're, if you're at a restaurant and the waitress comes <laughs> over and like, drink. do you need everything? <laughs> <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> chips and a drink. And the waitress comes over and says, "Do you want anything to drink?" Uh, I have a soda. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a soda guy. You're so okay. Yeah, it just felt, felt right, normal. Yeah. Felt right. Okay, I'm gonna start asking people this, those huh. questions now. Is there any other words in the Midwest that are like, "Oh, you're uh, tennis shoes, uh, sneakers. sneakers, tennis shoes, sneakers." Oh yeah, kicks, kicks. Nah, that one's hip. No. No, 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 that's for the cool people. Yeah, drip. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. So, what kind of drip do you like? What? No. Nah. Yeah, a good uh, spinach dip is all right. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, a little. When you're at a loud bar and you can't really hear people. Yeah, yeah spinach dip. <laughs> yeah, soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went to Minnesota once. <laughs> I got a couch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? In my head, I was thinking I got a sofa, but it came out as couch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. No, it's stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, that's man. what happened to me when I said this book's in Mexican. Damn, yeah, good shit. Uh, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I, was, I was just curious. The, the tennis shoes and sneakers thing, I just say shoes. So tennis? I, I don't really get yeah. that one. Me compras unos tenis. And th- there's a couple other words that are like geographical, but I can't really think of them. It's crazy how... You could like teach your brain to just automatically trans like translate shit, you know. I knew what you're saying, but you like you you kind of Tra- struggled to <laughs> get know, that sentence like... <laughs> out. Trans, nah. translate, translate, yeah. yeah. Um, good shit, man. Which is cool. Yeah, I like I like doing that in my head to practice uh, yeah. for French. When like somebody will say a word, it's like if I know the word, I'll say the word in my head in French. Oh, okay. Like cat, like cat, shit. <laughs> Shit, the cat will not shit. Oh, that's a good. <laughs> the shit will not shit. What is that called when you use shit to like learn? Uh, uh, not acronyms. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Apostrophes. No. Yeah. Um, no. Something with an O. Uh, oh, innuendo. No. No. Innuendo, but not sexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I I think I know what you're talking about. I just don't. Yeah. I can't get it. Man, we gotta hire a fact checker. No. We gotta hire a residential. All right, so we need a fact checker who also happens to speak French. Yes. And uh, Chinese. Chinese, that drink soda. That drink soda. Not pop. Yes. I mean, they could call it pop. I don't. What if like a dark pop is really a pop, but like with lighter pops are sodas? All right, you lost me. Yeah. Trader without a radio on the road to a hundred episodes. If you haven't noticed, um, we're at almost at ninety. We're, we're it's like your days of uh yeah days of speech, my um, days of speech. <laughs> uh, chair without a radio. Uh, tune in next week where we oh Fourth of July. Oh yeah yeah Fourth of yeah. July yeah yeah it should um, be fun. Yeah yeah that you, should be a good episode. You ever blow shit up? 
on the 4th of July? Yeah. Like fireworks or like literally blow something like, up? Like blow, like, well, I guess fireworks, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've always been scared. Of fireworks? Yeah. Well, that's fair. Well, it depends on the type of the fireworks. But not, not scared to like watch them, but like scared to <laughs> fucking light them. <laughs> <laughs> so every, every 4th of July, it's you and every fucking dog in the <laughs> nation just curled up I in a ball dogs. like, fuck. <laughs> Yo, bro, scoot over the, you hear that shit? The, that does um, suck. Do you think like dogs like go around telling terrible. stories? Like to their to their puppies, it's like yeah. There's this one day a year where all hell breaks loose. It's like fucking uh, like Nam, like yeah, yeah Nam, they like, have, uh, like the fucking flashbacks. What's the uh, D Day? Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's like D Day for dogs, but it happens every year. And like older dogs are the ones telling the stories because they've they've lived through it. They yeah. survived fucking D Day. Oh, bro, that that reminded me of the um, the the new season of Rick and Morty just recently started. Nice. And they put up the whole first episode on YouTube. Oh, nice. And Let's so you, you just go on YouTube and watch the first episode. Man, is that a good episode? Yeah. Um, they they kind of do... It reminded me because the, the civilization that gets fucked with... Or fucked with, I guess, depending on how you think about it. Uh, they're like dog looking. They look like dogs. Okay. And it's like the dumbest thing in the world, but... Uh, Morty basically became, he basically became religion for that, for, for that civilization. Okay. So it's like fucking, but, but like, he's not, he's not religion in the way that he's a God. He's religion in the way that he's like the devil. Oh shit. So, uh, so they all hate him. They hate him. So like, I guess to quickly summarize this episode <laughs> that you should go watch. You should go, it's on if you made it this far, just go ahead and type yeah, it in. Yeah. Click over. Uh, Morty is there. Rick bought a bunch of cheap wine, right? Nice. And like, you know, the older wine is, the better it is or whatever. Uh-huh. And so he opens up a portal to this world where time passes faster. To make his to, wine better? Yeah. So he throws the Smart. wine in there and then it's like, all right, Morty, in like five minutes, go get the wine. And so when when he threw the wine into the to the other world, like life didn't exist yet. Oh, shit. And so there was just wine and, like, the planet, you know? And so then when Morty walks back in and he gets the wine, they're, like, at the beginning of civilization. So there's, like, a like a dude farming outside the house, and he has, like, a wife and kids. Uh-huh. And, you know, he's all friends. It's like, oh, hey, you know, you're... I was wondering what those things were. Uh, he doesn't just, know what wine is? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I just left them there. I figured somebody would come back and get them eventually. And so Morty's like, oh, yeah, cool, thanks. And, like, you know, they're all friendly, right? Yeah. And the guy... Uh, the guy is like, oh, here, I'll, I'll help you with it. So he picks up one of the crates of wine and he walks through the portal and like he's talking with Morty, whatever. They have like legit like a five, five minute conversation at the most, uh-huh. but like in our world. And then at the end of it, Morty's like, oh, here, you know, take take one of the wine bottles back and, you know, enjoy it with your family and, you know, whatever. Have a good have a good life. But because time passes faster in the other world, when the dude walks back in, uh into the portal his wife's like dead like she's like, oh, aged shit. and she's a skeleton oh shit the... and so he's like freaking out he's like oh fuck you, you know like i my yeah, whole, fast forward time yeah, yeah my whole life is gone but his his son who his wife was pregnant with at the time that he stepped through the portal is like an adult now okay. and he he kills his dad because he made a promise to his mom that if his dad ever oh. came back he would kill him for abandoning them God damn, this is getting deep. Yeah, and as his dad's dying, like, it wasn't me. It was the, the fucking Morty. It was, like, the fucking devil child or whatever. Yeah. And so he's like, you have to protect, because the portal opens up in the same spot every time. Uh-huh. So it's like, you have to protect the door. Be ready for when he comes back. Oh. Uh... And so then that kid grows up. He has a family, and, like, his family is, like, he's, like, telling them. It's like, no, I'm telling you. Like, there's this kid. He comes <laughs> through, and he just fucking starts killing people. Getting you know? the line, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like so time passes and then that that kid who killed the dad originally is like old he's like a grandpa now oh god and like so his, his gran- kid yeah and his grandchildren are like oh you gotta stop like you know you've been telling us the story for years so like they thought it was like a boogeyman story oh uh, you know fucking crazy yeah. yeah and then fucking morty comes back in <laughs> and like beats the shit out of the old guy oh wow to get the wine and then his kid's like oh my god we're so sorry we ever doubted you and like it keeps on progressing and like civilization create is born on the one idea God that they damn. want to kill this kid who's been terrorizing their family. 
So that's how it all started. Yeah. And so, was, like, you know, they go through everything. They go, like, through med- medieval times. They go, like, through, like, what would be our modern times. Yeah. They go through, like, the future. All based on the legend of Morty. On the legend of this kid who just every once in a while opens up, takes a bottle of wine, and leaves. So if you think about it, it's like, you know how say, they say, like, Jesus is going to come back? Right. So that's... Oh, my God. That is religion. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Full circle. I like how he clicked Bro. in your head. You were like, holy fuck. That just... That was a, that was a mind fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's really good. So I, people I, are like, oh, yeah, one day, you know, God's going to come back. And yeah. Like, resurrect. In, in this case, God is just fucking Morty who's trying to get wine. Oh, my God. That's, I got to watch this stupid shit now. Yeah, Damn, yeah. that was cool. It's a good episode. That clicked hard as fuck. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, nice. check out the episode if you're still here. Yeah. Uh, also, make sure you get your dog something nice for Fourth of July. Yeah, take yeah. care of your dog. Yeah, get him. You know, just cook him like a nice like out of or something. Yeah, get him a good steak. Yeah, Ooh, get him one of those hats. I don't know if you've been seeing hats, but recently, uh, all these had a lot of fucking dog clothes and hats oh, for no. the summer. They got like cool ass little little hats for their head for like ear really holes, cool. and then they got like little vests and shit. Damn, I gotta I gotta look into that. Your dog could be fucking fly as hell. I need a dog. No, <laughs> share with that radio. Uh, Road to one hundred. Thank you for tuning in. Um, go watch Rick and Morty. All right, cool. All right, cool.